Hey there somebody, I'm Victor Ray and this is how to survive school. I remember as a kid, I was a smartass in both ways. I was acing those tests like uh, someone who aced tests. I don't have a good analogy. And also I was pretty smart mouthed to my parents, to the teachers, to the other kids. I'm surprised I only sorta of got beat up once. It was a chokehold. Calm down. It was nothing special. But I got amazing grades, so I was proud of that. The transition from middle school to high school was probably one of the worst things that could happen to my life at the time, mom. Huh? <laughs> I went from straight A's to C's to D's and F's. I couldn't tell what had happened at all. I wish I could go back and give myself some advice, but since I can't, I'll just share with you five quick tips on surviving school so you don't make the same mistakes like this tip. One, get off your butt. I remember rushing to finish my homework in middle school all the time just so I didn't get detention. No kid wanted to spend extra time in school. I was a nerd, but come on. I needed to train my Suicune and make Kingdom Hearts fanfics that no one was ever gonna read. Ain't nobody got time for that detention. But when I started high school, there was no detention. Do your homework and get good grades so you pass. If you don't, you fail. That's it. And I honestly became very resistant towards school knowing this fact. But school is more than just history or English or getting good grades. It's about teaching you to get into a schedule. Work ethic and junk. If you don't get off your butt now, when will you ever? But I don't like to think about it like that. Who gets motivated when they have to do something? We should be teaching ourselves to be excited to learn and improve! Yeah! Which leads me to my next point. Two, ask questions. I was that kid that would judge you if you asked a question. Oh my god, you're so stupid! Why are you even asking questions, bruh? And the truth is, many students like me had that same fear. <laughs> Asking questions equaled stupidity, and no one wanted to look stupid. It didn't help that I was in an accelerated program too. So imagine smart nerds looking down on less smart nerds. It is kind of ironic. But if you don't get it, ask the teacher. Or even ask a classmate if you're too shy or embarrassed. Asking questions will make you smarter and more excited to learn in the long run. LEARNING! YEAH! 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 Because you'll actually get what's going on. And who knows, maybe that cute girl and boy or girl boy in class might ask you for help. Don't kiss ass though. You don't know where that ass has been. And also other students will hate you for that. 3. Be who you wanna be, Barbie girl. Wait, no. Be yourself. Okay, I guess that does work. Be who you wanna be. Don't ever pretend to be someone you're not just to fit in with the cool kids, or be a teacher's pet. Like I said, don't kiss ass. Don't kiss anyone's booty, unless you're planning to get into acting. This is how I think about it. Plastics may or may not get recycled, trash gets thrown away, but the real you is a treasure. So uh, you know, treasure yourself and your booty. 4. Let your interests guide you. This is sort of like be yourself, but in a more focused sense. If you're interested in music, theater, learning, sports, or anime, then be the subs over dubs weeaboo you are and let it out. But make sure your interests isn't affecting someone else's ability to be themselves. Like your interest better not be bullying, or cyberbullying, or anything about bullying. God, shame on you. Because I have a particular set of skills. And I will find you. And I will find you. Bye-bye. Five. Pass. And once you have the first four down, the biggest and most important thing about school is learning and improving yourself, your knowledge, and your skill set. But if you don't pass, society will tell you you failed, the school will tell you you failed, and basically, you need to pass. I know it's stupid, it sucks, but everyone has to play by the rules. Let's compromise. Pass with at least C's, C's get degrees if you're planning to go to college. After you pass, you can 1, 2, 3, or 4, and then maybe someday you can 5 your 4. Basically, you can get off your butt and start asking questions about your interests so you're able to be yourself, and then maybe you'll one day pass your goals and dreams and succeed. Succeed. 
don't know what this is. One, two, three, four, and five. That's how you will survive. So I shared a story, now I want you to share yours. What are some of your genius tips or life hacks for surviving school life? I'd like to know personally because I am still learning. So if you enjoyed this video, there's only one thing I would love you to do. Please share it to your mom, to your dad, to the girl in the closet. What? 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 What am I saying? But seriously, if you do, I'll be eternally grateful. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Thanks for your time. I'll see you soon, somebody. And do a cool pose. Us, if not all of us, have baggage. Nope. Not the kind of baggage you take on flights. Not the carry-ons either. I said I'm completely straight. Why won't my mom believe me?